Welcome to the Security in 5 podcast. I'm Drew, the Binary Blogger. This is a short program bringing you security and IT related news, tips, and guidance in about five minutes. Quick to listen to, easy to understand. This is Security in 5. Thanks for listening. Episode 570 of Security in 5, and today is our tools, tips, and tricks episode, and this is up the path of multi-factor authentication, and I have been a big pusher of multi-factor authentication, that if a service has it, you should enable it, because multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication is the best and most effective security control that you can put in place to protect all of your accounts on the web. Aside from using a password manager and creating very strong passwords that are uh, uniquely generated for each website, if those credentials are compromised through a, a brute force attack on that particular service, it doesn't matter how strong the password is if the hackers have it. However, when you have multi-factor authentication enabled, not only do they need to have the correct username and password, they have to have the a token or the token generator or something that you have, which is the second factor, to generate a token um, or receive a token sent to you to get in. So if the, somebody around the world just has username and password, you have the second part of the authentication and your account, um, albeit is compromised, they will not be able to gain access because of the authorization and authentication pieces put in place. Now there is a plugin. There was a two, uh, website that I talked about uh, probably a few months ago out there called twofactorauth.org. This is a, a master list of uh, well-known sites that enable two-factor authentication. However, I've stumbled across a, a browser plugin for Chrome and Firefox called 2FA Notifier. And you plug this in, any of the websites that you visit, it will verify against twofactorauth.org, which is a continually changing website. People contribute to it. It gets added to all the time. But it will prompt you a alert that's saying, hey, this uh, website has two-factor authentication availability. Go ahead and enable it. So it'll help you um, as you're going through your day browsing around creating accounts or if you have accounts on existing sites, a pop-up will happen to say this has multi-factor authentication and you should enable it across the board. Um, it is it is not as inconvenient or time time slow down is another one of the big complaints that I have. It's going to take too long for me to log in. It's it's not. And once you begin to implement it, the extra 15 seconds or 30 seconds to authenticate into a sensitive service is a fair trade-off um, aside from losing all of your accounts, financial information, identity theft, uh, fraud, et cetera, et cetera. And with the technologies, with the cellular speeds, with the Wi-Fi speeds, you get Tokens generated instantly. You can have text messages arrive in seconds instead of minutes, and it is not as slow down as you think it is. But again, it's, if you're doing security over convenience or convenience over security, that's up to you. However, the best recommendation for everybody is that if a site offers it, enable two-factor authentication. Because at the end of the day, unfortunately, there is no de facto standard certification or any type of gold star uh, tests that you can go through to say that my site is secure. You have to rely on the capability of the sites and services that you're using to put in best practices. But there is really no one way to do it and some are better than others. You have no idea if the service is storing your passwords in clear text. You don't know. It's secure, that it has HTTPS, they got the certificates, but how are they storing the database? How are they protecting it? Who has access to it? You don't know. So the best way to get around that and to support and enhance all your accounts is multi-factor authentication. Download will be in the show notes, 2FA Notifier, the number 2FA Notifier.org. Uh, works for Chrome, works for Firefox. TwoFactorAuth.org is what it checks, which is the master uh, community site for uh, sites that have multi-factor authentication enabled. Go ahead and check it out install it. It works pretty slick. I have it had it in for a couple of days now. I like it. Security in 5, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening. This has been another episode of Security in 5. If you have any questions on past episodes or suggestions for future topics, don't hesitate to reach out. If you want to get additional content, special episodes, and first access to new materials, consider becoming a patron of the show. All the links are in the show notes of every episode. And remember, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening.